country that had always fascinated me. The food, the people, the culture, the food, the cities, the nature, the noise, the food, the history, the buildings. Did I mention food? And after some preliminary research, we felt we were ready to take the jump. And anyway, we were only going to stay here for a year, so it felt pretty low risk. The only issue was we didn't have a job. Well, actually, not the only issue. The visa process is really long and complicated. I don't speak Chinese. You have to pay three months' rent if you want to rent anywhere. And worst of all, I didn't know what WeChat was. Anyway, back to the story. Luckily, we previously both qualified as English teachers and were native speakers, so it turns out there's plenty of job opportunities here in China. And so, after a few weeks of text messages, emails, and video interviews, the job offers started rolling in, which was a big problem. Obviously, I'm from the UK, and it's pretty small. I never realized just how big China actually is. How could we possibly decide which city to move to when we've never even been? All of them, we eventually settled on Nanjing. Actually, how did we decide to settle on Nanjing? I don't know.、Um, I guess we wanted somewhere that was good for traveling to other cities, relaxed, green. Not too small, not too big. I mean, it was still the same size as London or New York, but it definitely turned out to be really green. And to be fair, despite its size, rather relaxing. Also, it was just an hour away by high-speed train to Shanghai and Suzhou. So anyway, after choosing Nanjing, we flew back from South America to the UK to catch up with our friends and family, which flew by. So after about a month, my parents dropped us off at the airport with lots of bags, lots of nerves, and lots of excitement, but with little to no idea of what on earth to expect. So as you can see, we were clearly out of our depth, but you've got to love our spirit. As I was doing all this research, however, I realised that there wasn't actually that much information on China. Which is exactly why we started this YouTube channel to show other foreigners what life in China really is like. I'm so happy that over the past few years, this channel has evolved to include people from all different nationalities. So no matter who you are, leave me a comment and let me know where you're from. Anyway, I'm sorry for interrupting again. Last time, I promise. Back to the story. Obviously, it was completely different from South America, but that's what I wanted. I wanted something that was completely different. That's why we came to China. Oh, and one more thing. You know how we were only going to stay here for a year? Well, since then another two has flown by, and we've changed cities, we've changed jobs, we've changed our entire life. And occasionally we have to stop and ask ourselves, why did we move to China? Because this wasn't exactly our intention. Or maybe it was. Maybe we were wanting a fresh perspective. Maybe we were wanting an adventure. Maybe we were craving something different. And that's why we stayed. Because in China, the adventure never ends.